Hello and welcome to Aiden's Railways. Today I thought we would take a look at Emily. Now Emily is based on the Great Northern Railway Stirling 422 locomotive. Um, now Hornby did make an Emily and it looked very nice. However, it didn't look like Emily from the television series. Um, it did look very nice. They aren't particularly easy to get a hold of the Hornby ones now. Um, and when you can see them on the auction websites, they usually go for quite a lot of money. However, when Bachman released their version of Emily, I thought it to be very, very good. Um, in appearances anyway, it looks very much like Emily of the television series. The face is great. The shape of it is great. I mean, it, it really does pick it, pick out everything that you see of Emily on the television series. I just love these silver buffers. Um, like other Bachman locomotives, the cut, the actual hook on the front of the uh, drawbar, it, 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 it's oversized. It's hugely oversized for for the actual locomotive. Um, it has the usual mid-shape decouplings with a spring-loaded uh, hook. The paintwork is brilliant. I've got to say this about the Bachman locomotives. The paintwork is its so crisp. It's not like a lot of the Hornby locomotives where they have all the separately fitted handrails. These are just literally painted on. Um, but it doesn't take away from the model. They do look really, really good. And I think I think they really captured Emma. I really do. But that being said, we have the usual problem with a Bachman locomotive. There's no room in this cab. It's almost solid right to the edge here, and it's all to do with the motor and the eye mechanisms. Um, but similarly, they've done the same thing with the tender. Now they could have left some space here, but instead there is. There's about three to four millimeters space there. I find it probably unlikely we'll ever get a crew in there, but I might give it a go at some point. They did redeem themselves with the tender on this one after the Donald and Douglas situation. They've placed the coal on, the coal does look very good, just like Donald and Douglas's, but they also remembered the area for filling water into the tender. Um, I would have been very upset if they hadn't done that on this because they, other than that they've done a great job um, of producing a model at a very reasonable price, a very reasonable price. Um, I would have been very, very upset if they'd actually forgotten that again. I mean, it doesn't take away from Donald and Douglas, they do look great, but it's always there. It's always going to be in the back of my mind that that bit's missing. And, how on earth are they meant to fill up the water in the tender? Um, the other thing with Emily that I've found, it might just be my model, but I've got a feeling it isn't. The large drive wheel here is motor driven. It is connected to this wheel here in some form. I don't know how, I'm not gonna take the model apart. It might be something to do with the eye mechanism, I don't know. As a result, and unlike the model that Hornby based theirs off, like the early Triangle one, um, which had Magnahesion, there's no weight really to Emily. And only having that one big wheel really uh, moving it along the track has its downside. It can barely pull anything. Anything of any real um, weight. Uh, it'd be hard pressed to get it to pull what maybe Oliver or even Percy and, and Percy's incredibly light um, what they can pull but when they released Emily they also released some very 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 good um, six wheel coaches that are based on Emily's coaches from the television series now I've got them, I bought two of them um, and she can pull them. I may be tempted to buy a third at some point, but I think I might be pushing it with Emily. 
um, they also look very very good um, I would imagine if if Hornby had attempted to make the coaches for Emily we probably would have just ended up with something like that very similar to the Annie and Clarabelle um, their standard four wheel coach and it would have ended up in sort of like southern green I would imagine similar to this but Backman excelled themselves and they chose to make some proper coaches so if I just move Emily forward and she's a very smooth runner a very smooth runner here we have the first coach and when I first opened the package and I thought well, am I going to have problems having going around curves but the centre wheels here are completely flangeless so they're, they're literally just resting on top of the track so this is actually Emily's brake coach and the only actual visible difference between this and the standard coach is purely that these windows here are painted in white um, to give the impression of the guards coach um, they're metal wheels and they run really well. They've actually got a fair amount of weight to them, um, which I didn't expect, but they do. And here we have Emily's standard coach. Um, a, a lovely high gloss finish, as do a lot of Backman's uh, locomotives and rolling stock. Um, those couplings with the sprung hooks, they, they, are, they are great. Um, I don't know if you can see that that lovely yellow lining on there and the vented roofs really really bring it out I mean there's no detail on the inside but to be honest the windows are that small I don't think you'd be able to see in really as a traveling pass on the layout um, if I can try and bring Emily back and couple up I do believe that Emily really does look the part with those coaches and I'm glad that we purchased them. Um, these aren't actually Aidan's, they're not mine, although I did buy them. We actually bought them for Aidan's sister, so a bit of it quality on the railway, you could say. Um, because she likes Emily, so we decided we would get her. And, and I, was, I would have probably bought Emily anyway because it is such a good interpretation of the television character so without more waffling on I don't think there's an awful lot more I can say we'll get Emily out on the track and running and as always have a look out see what else you can see traveling around on the railway